Welcome back design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to fill your bowl with fruit. And it's really difficult to create a random assortment of things when you're doing 3D modeling. Because when you try to arrange them they almost always end up looking not random. But luckily 3D Max has a tool set called MassFX. It allows us to give objects physical properties so that they'll behave according to the laws of physics. And then we can run a simulation to have them for example fill a bowl. So let's get started. I'm going to start by bringing my apple into the scene. And I have another, a number of objects in this scene, but luckily I've named them, so I'm going to bring the apple and the stem in and nothing else. And my apple came in, but as you can see, it is really, really large. So I'm going to have to scale it down quite a lot. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the exact middle here. That looks about right. Once we have it positioned, we need to make sure that the apple and the stem are one mesh together. So we need to click one of them and then find Attach and then click the other one. And you may get a dialog box about uh, matching material IDs. Uh, just select one, and uh, if it doesn't work, undo it, and then do it again, and just keep selecting it until you get the right one. I think there's only three choices, so it shouldn't take long. But you want the stem to retain its texture. And then I'm going to copy my apple. And I'm going to make sure that they are positioned over the bowl because they're supposed to fall into the bowl. And I might even move them down a little bit. And I don't want all my apples to be exactly the same, so I'm going to take one of them and um, stretch it out just a little bit. And I might even open up element mode and grab that stem and delete it. So we have some apples with stems and some without. And then I'm going to copy that apple up and move it over in the x-axis. Then I'm going to copy this one and move it over. So we have more of a random assortment. Then I'm going to grab this one and pull it up. grab this, these two and pull them up. So basically I have a staggered assortment of apples here. So now we're ready to use MassFX but we need to find the MassFX toolbar and if you don't see it up here and you probably won't then it's not visible so we need to right click in an empty area of the toolbar and check the MassFX toolbar box and it will appear as a little floating toolbar and you can dock that up in your main toolbar like so. Now in the MassFX toolbar we have this which brings up the main sort of MassFX menu. We have the rigid body menu. We have the cloth simulation menu. We have the rigid constraint menu. And we have the ragdoll menu. And we have the playback simulation buttons. This is play, this is reset, and this is go to the end. In this case, what we need to do is make all of these things rigid bodies so that they'll collide with each other. Now, rigid bodies that are supposed to move according to gravity or collision are called dynamic rigid bodies. Rigid bodies that are not going to move are called static rigid bodies. So the bowl is supposed to be a static rigid body. So let's select the bowl. And to make it a static rigid body, we need to come up here to the rigid body menu, click and hold, and select set selected as static rigid body. And that will add a mass FX modifier to it, and you'll see some settings. And you'll also see the collision mesh on the bowl. And then let's select all of our apples. And these are going to be dynamic rigid bodies. So click the rigid body menu and set these as dynamic rigid bodies. And you'll see the collision meshes appear on them. So once we've got that done, we can hit the play button and see what happens. And you can see that that did not work very well. 
let's reset the simulation. What happened was our apples did not fall in the bowl. They bounced on top of it as if it has a lid. That's because there are a number of different types of rigid bodies. The main two are convex and concave. Convex shapes curve outward and concave shapes curve inward. So the bowl is not a convex shape, which is the default. It is a concave shape. So you can come over here to its settings and you can see down here in the physical shape that it is a convex shape. It needs to be concave. So let's change that to concave. And then when we simulate that, the apples go inside the bowl, but they don't stay in the bowl, and they kind of go through the bowl, and it still doesn't look very good. So we need to improve the quality of this simulation. So let's start by selecting the bowl and deleting the Mass FX Rigid Body modifier. And then we're going to collapse everything onto the bowl so that it's just an editable poly. And then we're going to go back to the Rigid Body menu and select it and set it as a static rigid body. And remember we need to change it to concave. And now what we need to do is give it a better uh, collision mesh. So scroll down here and find physical mesh parameters. And these default are fine. These default settings are fine. And let's click generate. And you're going to get a calculation here. And when it's done, we're going to get a nice, tight collision mesh around our bowl. Now let's simulate this one more time and see what happens. And that's much more like it. Let's reset that simulation. And we need to do a couple more things. Let's check Use High Velocity Collisions in the Global Settings menu here. And that'll change that for every object in our scene. And then right here, if we change this substeps number from 0 to, say, maybe, I don't know, 8, that should increase the quality of our simulation. So let's give that a try and see what that looks like. And that's much better. You can see we don't have that jumping around and all of that. Now let's turn this off and reset one more time, and let's give it more solver iterations. Let's try 10 see what that does for us. I actually didn't like that. I liked it better the other way. Let's try 6. I think maybe 4 was the magic number. With four, I seem to get more apples staying in the bowl, and I like that. Now, since we're just rendering a still with this, we could just leave it like that. And each time we want to render our still, we could just run the simulation and stop it and then take our picture. But if this were an actual animation that we were uh, doing, then we'd want to do what's called baking it. And to bake it, you come over here to this menu and you click Bake All. And when you do, that adds keyframes on your timeline and makes it a permanent part of your scene. Each object will have keyframes in the timeline now, as you can see. And if you decide you don't want to bake it, just hit undo and it will undo the baking. So now I'm back to my simulation. Now if you have another type of fruit that you just want to place in the bowl, say maybe a couple of oranges, you could just run the simulation and then put the orange in place physically to make it look like it was in the bowl. Or you could put the watermelon on the surface sort of around and then put, uh, you know, or maybe an orange in it. Or maybe put an orange on the floor and then a couple in the bowl. Or you could put two or three different kinds of fruit in your simulation. Either way. So I know this was a long one, but that is how you create a simulation using MassFX and randomly fill a bowl with apples. 
and I'll see you in the next video.